Hi guys, Velen here from VST and I want to show you today some news regarding the new Google Camera 7. So as you know the Google Camera 7 APK leaked some days ago and the guys from XDA were, ab were able to run it on a Pixel 3 and Pixel 2 phone and of course it doesn't really run with all I think the features and settings but it does run. Now uh, you know that the Google Camera modding scene is very active so what I want to show you guys today is the first or at least one of the first Gcam 7 ports created by Null by Apple guy, right? So uh, I, uh, of course, before that video was able to download it, run it, of course, don't expect everything to work. But OK, if you want to install the latest Google Camera 7 on your phone, uh, providing that uh, you're running like a, a Snapdragon A35, A45 and A55, of course, then I think you can go. I'll put the link below. You should download the APK, install it. In fact, I'm going to do this just right now with you. So I have the APK here. OK, I'm installing it. Okay, do you want to st install this application? Of course I want. And it will be installed. Now here, that's very important. If uh, the Google camera says that it cannot install, it be installed, that please make sure that you remove the previous versions, but always, always clean data storage and then uninstall, okay? Now that's the new Google camera here. I'm gonna put it down below here on my desktop. And before we start it, just let's have a look. From the change log, it does, says, it does say that it's based on the stock Google APK, it should work on the most modern Qcom devices, Qualcomm devices. Of course, it's a very early build. <laughs> they are back, sorry. The uh, full HD video doesn't work, so you can apparently switch to HD, 720p or, or 4K. The motion photos are broken. Okay, you should disable them to prevent crashes. And there are portrait hexagon and tin fixes in the mod settings. Okay, but let's really start sorry guys and run it so i'm starting it for the first time you have to allow all the permissions so allow 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 and there it is okay now it does say it's confidential so apparently those guys are the developers here if i go to the version and you can see for some reason i'm labeled up here okay you can see that this is google camera 7.0 all right now there are some developer settings there okay usually what i will do on my google camera and uh, our settings when i uh, install it, I will enable HD. I would. So I will always enable the HDR control that will allow you um, to change between HDR Plus and HDR Enhanced. Then I usually also enable the option for the Google camera to take not only JPEG but also RAW photos. That's up to you guys if you want to record using the HEVC or H265 on the videos. That's, that's up on you. Uh, okay, let's see some more things. I think I already changed that one. Okay, camera resolution, right? The back camera. Okay, they said it didn't work, so I'm changing it directly to 4K. And okay, then let me just show you guys. So this is pretty much how it looks like now. You can see that you have to tap up here to get all the menus. This was also already uh, shown into the XDA video. So this is how the new Google camera interface looks like. So I will disable the raw photos. Uh, okay, I, I want just JPEG only. It kind of looks the new UI kind of looks cool guys what do you think do you like it if you have uh, any opinion about that just please write it into the comments below now the HDR okay usually I would shoot my photos on HDR enhanced okay uh, motion is disabled okay flash is off okay then let's try to do a photo right okay oh, okay that worked Jesus no <laughs> okay it crashed all right now we are back to my screen. If I want to do another photo that is in HDR enhanced, you see, I think the photo has been taken, but then the, then it kind of crashes. All right. Uh, speaking about the, un the uninstall, all previous versions, you have to click here on storage, clear storage, clear cache, and then uninstall. All right. Okay. But what I did notice is when I switched the HDR off, I was able to take a photo. Okay. Boom. And now the photo is there already. And then what I did guys, I switched back from HDR to HDR plus and I think it should work as well. So let me try to do this. Okay, it works. Now I tried it and I'm just showing this uh, for the video's sake. If I try to switch again from HDR plus to HDR enhanced, it will not work. So let me do a photo of this here. Okay, I think it will crash. Okay. And now if you go back now to HDR plus, it will not work again. So I'm just demonstrating. Okay, it worked previously didn't work but okay it's something right it's something and uh, okay just let's try to do some more tests here 
Uh, I think even motions uh, did work, so let me try to disable them because we don't need them. So let me try to shoot again. Here, the teddy bear. Okay, teddy bear works. Kind of looks okay, I guess. Uh, let's see the portrait mode. If you want to shoot a. Okay, I think portrait mode just hang like that. Let me try to restart it. Okay, portrait mode probably is not gonna work, guys. So for the portrait mode, probably need to, to go and apply the fixes. Okay, I, I usually go press more and then look about settings, but uh, they're not there. So we know that all the settings right now are from here. So we have to type that one. And let me just see if there are, okay, mod settings here. So let's try fix crush in portrait mode. Okay, so let's put this portrait mode fix and let's hope down now the portrait will work. portrait mode oh, okay I think for now maybe it's gonna work oops okay now it crashed it did crash again but I think the photo is taken so let's try again and do something here with the portrait mode uh, okay up info right it's crashed uh, but let's try to use the portrait mode with HDR off see what happens there not sure how useful is that but okay Okay, the photo is at least taken now. Is the bokeh applied? We don't know this, right? Because it, in, it should use here a human face. But okay, I would assume that the portrait mode works. And what about the front camera? So let's try the, the front camera. Okay, this is with HDR off. I think it does work, all right? And let's see. I will just go back and put the HDR plus and then switch to the front camera. Teddy bear, or even with a flash, boom, okay, it's crashing, yeah. All right, guys, I think for the purposes of testing Google Camera 7 on your old phone, I think you can go ahead and do that, all right. Now, there are a lot of caveats, and that's very, very early build, so uh, with that said, let's try the night side mode, okay? I think it's gonna crash, but just in case. All right, nothing happened, no, it crashed, okay. Uh, if we go here and try to enable we go here and try to enable was there I think a fix for the night side I think there was so let's go into mode settings no no fix okay okay but guys I think you pretty much got the idea so this is really how the new camera 7 interface will look like and again if you want to install this very very early mod of the Google camera APK Google camera 7 on your non pixel Android device so like myself right now that I own a OnePlus 7 or you own uh, something like from Xiaomi like a Mi 98 you can go ahead and do so it probably will work okay I'm not sure you have to test all the options just again make sure that you disable uh, and clear all the cache in the data and then uninstall the old camera and uh, yeah hopefully this is gonna work for you I'm going to kind of like follow the scene very actively today this is the second build from the Google camera 7 that I do that did test it. There is another one that has been sent to me. It doesn't really work too much. But okay, I'll keep you posted, guys. And again, this is now on the Google Camera port, right? So if you go to the Google Camera port site, and um, down below, you see in the last 30 updates, so this is where I got the camera. I'm going to put the link into uh, the description below. Uh, but okay, this is really where I found it. Okay, I hope that this video was useful for you guys. If you like it, then yeah, just press the like button and subscribe and see you again on my channel. Okay, Velian from Velian Speaks Text, VST by over.